Have you ever wondered what the end of times might look like according to the Bible? It's a fascinating, if somewhat daunting, topic to explore. So, delve into the intricate tapestry of prophetic visions and divine revelations as we journey through the biblical apocalypse. The Bible paints a vivid picture of the end times in its final book, Revelation, attributed to John. It begins with John receiving a vision from an angel who shows him what is to come. This vision, filled with symbols and metaphors, forms the backbone of our understanding of the apocalypse. Among the first events prophesied is the opening of the seven seals by the Lamb, who is believed to be Jesus Christ. Each seal's opening signifies a different event, starting with the arrival of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. These are symbolic figures representing conquest, war, famine and death, which will sweep across the earth, heralding the beginning of the end times. Following the four horsemen, the fifth seal reveals the souls of those martyred for their faith, crying out for justice. The sixth seal then triggers a great earthquake, with the sun turning black and the moon red. The seventh seal's opening ushers in the sounding of seven trumpets by seven angels, each one triggering further calamities, from hail and fire to a star named Wormwood making waters bitter. Next, John describes a war in heaven between Michael the Archangel and the dragon, understood to be Satan. The dragon and his angels are cast down to earth, bringing woe to its inhabitants. Following this celestial battle, two beasts, one from the sea and one from the earth, rise to power, marking a period of tribulation. John then sees a vision of the fall of Babylon, a symbol of worldly power and decadence. With Babylon's fall, the final judgments begin with the pouring out of seven bowls of God's wrath, leading to plagues, darkness, and the Euphrates River drying up to prepare the way for the kings of the east. And finally, the apocalypse culminates in the Battle of Armageddon, where the forces of good led by Jesus Christ triumph over the forces of evil. This victory ushers in a thousand-year reign of peace, the millennium, followed by a final judgment and the creation of a new heaven and a new earth. So, to summarize, the Bible's apocalypse begins with the opening of the seven seals, Followed by the arrival of the four horsemen, the sounding of seven trumpets, a war in heaven, the rise of two beasts, the fall of Babylon, the pouring out of seven bowls of wrath, and culminates in the battle of Armageddon and the establishment of a new heaven and a new earth. Remember, these events are deeply symbolic and have been interpreted in many different ways throughout history. They serve to remind us of the transient nature of our world and the eternal hope offered through faith. In the end, the apocalypse, according to the Bible, is not merely about destruction and despair. It is also about renewal, justice, and the ultimate triumph of good over evil. It's a story of endings and new beginnings, a testament to faith's enduring power. The apocalypse, then, may not be something to fear, 